Hello, Royalty. Good morning and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do it, we pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions that have lingered over the years in our heart and sometimes seem to have defied answers have been tackled. I have no doubt that your questions have been taken care of in this platform. All you need to do is to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel and follow us on our Facebook page also. Put on your notification button and go on through the memory lane, the clips that were already uploaded, over 400 of them. Before you finish going through them, you discover how much the Lord has dealt with your own issue. You understand? Make sure you use your comment section to share your testimonies as well as share the message. Let it go viral. The world is our target. Okay, so let's pray. My Father, my God, we thank you for what you are doing. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for your love for us. We thank you because you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, we are grateful for changing our lives through these messages on our touch points and we are before you this morning asking that you impart us as we listen to you and the instructions and the things that you say help us to follow you and be doers of your word in jesus name we pray amen we are talking about aging and old age and what we are still dealing on is what are some responsibilities of the older people to the younger generation. I want to read the last passage we read yesterday and then give us a rundown of the summary. And that is Mark chapter 7, verse 9. Then uh, he said, You skillfully sideline God's law in order to hold on to your own tradition. Now look at the, the, the explanation of the passages that we read also. Say different generations have much to learn from one another. For each generation has its own spiritual strength and weaknesses. Often tradition carried across its generation forms a strong defense against the, 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 the food of false teaching. Yet sometimes Satan ingrains his own lies into our traditions and it takes the fresh eyes of a new generation to inspire reform. Some traditions, such as the Lord's Supper, are essential to the faith. Others, such as worshipping with him, amazing grace, can be an inspiration and encouragement, but are not commanded by God. Still, others, such as only printing the Bible in Latin, become a great hindrance to the church. It is the responsibility of each generation to deeply consider the traditions we receive and which one we pass on to the next generation. All right, so the next question we are going to be dealing on now is what are some of my responsibilities towards older people? Now, you personally, because this is person, you personalize it, what are some of my responsibility to the older people? We'll take the first uh, Leviticus 19.32. Stand up in the presence of the elderly and show respect for the aged. Fear you are God. I am the Lord. <laughs> it's God giving this instruction directly. So older people deserve our respect give them respect as elderly because if you don't respect them you are soon becoming old the younger generation will not respect you that is how it is played out in first peter 5 verse 5 in the same way you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders and all of you dress yourselves in humility as you relate to one another for god opposes the proud and give grace to the humble. So we are called to accept the authority of older people and serve them humbly. Silver hair may provide golden opportunities for service for all. I want us to put to stop here for now 
and consider the things that we have heard. And for some who want to say, Father, I want to acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. Quickly say the prayer after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for today, O oh Lord. Please save my soul from eternal damnation. I want to reign and uh, you know, live with you in eternity. Wash me by your blood. Breathe upon me the breath of life. Write my name in the book of life and delete it from the book of death. Satan, withdraw your feedy hands out of my life. You did not make me. You cannot keep me. My life belongs to Jesus and to him I have returned. Thank you, Father. I am born again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me this morning, congratulations. And I encourage you to keep feasting your gaze in this perfect law of liberty. The Lord has prepared all this to help you grow and become whom he wants you to be. And you can never get it from fellowshipping with us. God bless you and to every one of us, I pray for you that the hand of God is upon you for rest. The rest that you have never imagined in your life, the Lord is giving it unto you. But first of all, you must you know, learn from him. You must put grab the invitation to dwell and allow God to reign in your life. And as you do that, may, you, may it be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Go and prosper and have a fruitful weekend. We'll meet here tomorrow once again. God bless you.